Alright, hey you guys. So for this video, I want to take you along to a site visit that's in South Carolina. I started my morning off by getting to the airport on time around 6.30 a.m. and I saw some construction going on so I had to check it out. And going on site visits is one of my favorite parts of the job. It doesn't happen often but I definitely enjoy it when it comes up. I spent the night before preparing for the trip by getting my stuff ready, downloading the latest PDFs, and just making sure that I know what I'm looking for when I get there. As for the scope of work, this project is going to be renovating the front of a shopping center and adding a rooftop unit to one of the buildings. So it's pretty simple and straightforward, but I definitely want to confirm some of the structural elements of these buildings. So I arrived to the site, so I'm just doing a preliminary check, just looking around, seeing what's here. And luckily they have these walls, like the partition walls. Now I'm gonna climb up on and see what the framing looks like on top. All right, hey guys, so I finally found a position where I can actually see all the roof framing, so let's check it out. looks like the joists they're using here are C channels. Uh, I mean, I don't see any bar joists and it looks like these are in equal spacings for the most part. Uh, there's one right overhead. Twenty seven inches. <laughs> so after running out of things to climb in that building, I had to go around to each of the shops and ask people if they would lend me a ladder. And no one wanted to give me a ladder. But luckily, the last place I had to check was a post office and I went there and they were cool enough to let me have one. So yeah, I mean, it worked out. In the end, I would just leave it there since it was the last place I would check for the day. So once I got the ladder, it made my job a hundred times easier. I could actually look and get close to the walls and see areas that I couldn't see from those small little walls. So originally when I opened up the panel, I was expecting to see steel bar joists, but I thought they were C channels. With the ladder, I was able to get a little bit closer and realize those were Z purlins. And the only time I ever see Z Perlins are in pre-engineered metal buildings, which is bad news if we're adding a rooftop unit to this building. Most of those buildings are designed to take capacity from the start, so there's no wiggle room to add anything to this. We might be able to add some steel framing in between the girders, but honestly I have no idea how to check these beams if they're pre-engineered metal building beams because I tried looking up the dimensions of this wide flange beam, which is 27 inches deep and seven inches wide, and I couldn't find a beam that fit that description. So it's gonna be hard to check, and I'm probably just gonna talk to my boss about it and see what he wants to do. So I make sure to write down everything I've noticed in this building and made sure to paste all the pictures from my phone onto my iPad and move on to the second building, which is the post office. So once I get to the post office, I check the exterior because from Google Earth, I couldn't tell whether or not this was a wide flange beam that was infilled with some sort of foam. But upon closer inspection, I realized I still don't know what it is. So <laughs> I just went inside and popped open some panels to see if I could see what that beam was. So the scope of work for this building is pretty minimal. They're not adding any rooftop units or anything like that. It has to mainly do with uh, parapet extension as well as exterior finishes and they want to add windows. So I'm just checking out the existing framing to make sure that everything is where it needs to be. All right, so I'm finally back to the first store that I was surveying and yeah, I'm just exhausted. It is 1.46 p.m. So, looks like my Uber is about to arrive, so 
Gotta go. Right. So, I haven't eaten lunch yet, but I'll probably just grab something at the airport. It's definitely been a long day. So I finally get back home and it's beautiful. It's nice and warm and I can't wait to get home. And I'm just in time for that two hour long traffic ride back home. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I really enjoyed today. I love getting out of the office whenever I can. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.